What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. If you guys are liking the more frequent Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on another really cool Final Cut Pro 10 video. So in today's video, I want to show you how to do this really cool zoom through object effect that you guys can easily do in Final Cut Pro 10 without using any plugins, presets, and all that stuff. You can do this all in Final Cut Pro 10 with the tools that it comes with if you guys are running an older version of Final Cut Pro 10 or if you have the latest version which I recommend you guys should update to the latest version. There's a lot of really cool effects that they added and if you guys want me to do a video on that just leave a like. Anyways this is what I'm going to show you in today's video where you can just pretty much zoom through anything you want and I guess you can call this a transition. So I'm just going to call this like a zoom through transition. Uh, but it's really cool. It's really easy. It's really, it kind of reminds me of the, um, I don't know if you've seen these in music videos and vlogs. Um, you know, you, you see this throughout YouTube, I suppose. And they normally use someone's eye to zoom in. And that's cool too. But I think it'd be awesome to, to, uh, to also, you know, try other uh, areas where you can try that out. And I decided that I wanted to use this video here to zoom in through this band's window. So it doesn't have to be someone's eye. And of course, using someone's eye is a lot easier. So I'm gonna show you a faster and an easier way of doing this. So what I want you guys to do is import your video. I'm just gonna delete this and start from scratch. All right, so you wanna import some video. In this case, I got this one, uh, it's royalty free video. Um, link's going to be in the description if you guys want access to certain royalty free videos that you guys can use for your projects and to follow along that'd be great too. Link is in the description. This video is not sponsored by the way. Anyways, um, so this is the the uh, video that you know someone filmed. It's really nice, nicely edited. So this is the raw video here. This is the actual video that you're seeing now. It hasn't been edited or touched. I just downloaded it exactly like it was. So what I want to do is I want to use this part here. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to also cut it before it zooms in like that. So I only want this clip here which is the one with the van. And then I want a different shot. Maybe I want a shot of this here. So I'm going to cut this and here, okay? And then I'm gonna drag whatever clip I want beneath this clip here. So I'm like this, okay? And then you can delete the rest if you want. I mean, it really just depends if you want it there or not. And I'm gonna keep the cows here, or I don't know what that is. It's cows, right? Yeah, it's a cow, okay. I'm just going to leave the cows there as well as the ocean. Okay, assuming this is what you filmed, right, in nice and slow motion. Okay, and then we got a cow. And then what what I want to do from here is you have your other video here, which is this one. Let me show you. It's just a, a slow motion clip. I'm just going to drag this beneath the clip here. Maybe, okay, so maybe about 10 frames. Uh, you want to use about 10 frames. So go one, two, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we've got 10 frames to the left here. And then we just dragged our video to the 10th frame here. Okay. So this will give us enough time to get a smooth transition from this point. What you want to do is you want to click on the video that you want to transition onto this clip here, which is the, the top clip. Then go into the effects, go to masks. Go to draw mask and drag that directly on here. But, be but before you drag the draw mask on top of the clip, we want to cut it right here. So cut this piece right there and then drag the draw mask. I'll explain to you why we did that, okay? But for now, we're gonna go into the draw mask. So click back on the video here, go into the draw mask and we want to move the time header here to the beginning and it works best if there's not that much movement. It just makes keyframing a lot easier. So move the time head to the beginning of the clip, which is right here. And then we want to zoom in. So go to this percentage here and move it to about 200% to however much you guys want to zoom in, I guess. So from here, what you want to do is you want to select the window, whatever this is, whether it's a window in a house, a car, or whatever it is, just make a selection. So with the pen tool, I'm going to click and then I'm going to click and drag to create a curve. So I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna move this back a little bit like that. Uh, something like this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more around 400%. Okay, and then I'm gonna click and drag here. Something like that. And then I'm gonna click and drag here again. I'm gonna get close to the edge and click and drag to create a curve. One here as well. And up here as well there. 
and then click. When you click, it's going to complete the path. However, this is a sharp edge, um, so I want to convert that. So right click and click smooth, and this will create this point uh, to make it smooth so we can smooth out the, the edges so it's not so rough, okay? Uh, so we're going to do something like this, okay? And maybe move this one here, something like that and then move this one in a little bit. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna zoom out to fit, okay? And we're gonna click invert, so we wanna invert the mask so we see the actual car here. And then in, inside this little window is gonna be our clip beneath, okay? So once you guys are done from this, we wanna go into feather and drag this to the left to feather this, uh, I guess, inwards a little bit, or you can feather this outwards if you want. I'm just gonna feather this inwards just so it's a lot smoother. I'm gonna go around negative five, um, but this depends on whatever you have selected, of course, from this point, And a lot of you guys decide to, I suppose, keyframe while zooming in the whole frame. There's an easier way of doing that. But before we get to that, we're going to make sure that, as you can see here, if I go one frame to the left, it's not in place. So what I want to do is I want to go into the draw mask, go to transforms, go to position and click this plus icon to add a keyframe. This really depends on how much movement there is. There's hardly any movement going on. So that's easy on us. So we can go one frame to the left on the end here. And I'm gonna drag this back in place, okay? That's all you wanna do. If you have a ton of movement, then you're gonna have to go frame by frame and move, move the uh, mask back in place, if that makes sense, okay? So we kind of done that already, as you can see. Okay, and then once we are done from this point, what we want to do is we want to click on this again. And this is the this is the trick here to actually make this a lot easier on yourself. All you gotta do is click this button here next to the transform. We're gonna click crop and then we're gonna go to Ken Burns. Okay. Now this is really cool. So what you want to do is you want to click the red the red piece here. It's gonna look like this. This should be the end point, and this is gonna be the starting point. The end point here, I want to, I'm going to move this back to the beginning here. We're going to click and drag. Make sure you click on the red one here and click and drag to decrease the size here. And what you want to do from this point is you want to make it as small as you can, smaller than the draw mask that you made. So if for some reason the draw mask is, I suppose, because this is as small as you can make it, I believe. If the draw mask is smaller um, than this, then you might have a problem. But you can try your best to do to do it that way if you want and adjust it so it fits within this uh, little, I guess, Ken Burns frame. But as you can see, we kind of we're kind of snapping into into the edges here. So you can hold down Command so you can free you can I guess have the control of moving it however you like. So I'm going to move it right here in this window and it fits perfectly. So you want the end here, that this rectangle frame, to fit inside of the draw mask. That's what you want. That way it creates a seamless, I guess, transition. So now if I click Done and I go back, it's going to do all the keyframing for you. So now if I go back and I push play, it's going to look just like that. And it looks super cool, super easy. You don't have to mess around with the transform tool and all that stuff. This does it automatically for you, which is really cool. But like I said, the only problem with this is going to have to be that this is as small as the, I guess, window is going to be. So whatever your draw mask is, it cannot be smaller than this rectangle. Okay, if that makes sense. I'm trying to make it as easy uh, for you to follow. But that's pretty much the effect there. And you can see that if I push play and I go back, it looks absolutely seamless. And there is one one little issue though, if you can see that it kind of appears out of nowhere. So what you want to do to fix that is move the time head to the beginning here where it starts the effect or the transition and then go into the fill opacity and drag this all the way down. Click the plus icon and move this a couple of frames in, maybe four frames and then increase the fill opacity all the way to 100%. So now if I go back and I push play, it's kind of it's going to kind of add a little smooth dissolve or transition um, and that just makes it a lot cleaner in my opinion so yeah um, you can do this with any object any car any person you can do this um, maybe with an eye I'm not sure but just play around with that you can also scale the, the actual frame up in this case the video if you need to to fit the Ken Burns inside of the draw mask okay so that's the easiest way that I found 
uh, of doing this effect in Final Cut Pro 10 without having to mess around with a bunch of keyframes in the transform tool and all that crazy stuff. And you don't need a shape mask. You only need a draw mask. So if you guys found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification and comment down below what other video you guys want me to make. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.